Hey guys, I want to tell you about my latest little project. I got into cryptocurrency mining and in this video at the end, you're going to learn everything I've done, everything I've spent and also how much is it making me. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Machek. Welcome to the channel. If you're interested in investing in real estate, building your net worth and in general investing of any type, then please subscribe to this channel. This is what this channel is all about. So I wanna start off by just saying thank you to Red Panda Mining. Red Panda Mining got me really inspired about mining cryptocurrency. He's been doing it for years and I've learned quite a bit by watching his channel. So I'm gonna link his channel down below if you're interested in getting a little bit more information. He actually puts out videos almost every single day and I learned from every one of them. So let me tell you a little bit about the research that I did first. So when it comes to mining cryptocurrency, you can do it two different ways. One is using an ASIC miner. It's a piece of hardware dedicated only for the sole purpose of mining cryptocurrency. And the other way is through a GPU mining, which is basically a computer with a whole bunch of graphics cards. And this is the route that I ended up going with as a start. And if this goes well, I am definitely gonna invest into some ASIC miners. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, please click the like button. It only takes a moment and I know that if you click that like button right now you're gonna have a higher chance of getting more videos about cryptocurrency mining because YouTube is gonna know please click it right now so real quick before I get into all the numbers just want to show you the rig that I ended up building this is basically an open frame rig which houses a motherboard at the bottom along with the power supply and the hard drive and then on top I have two layers right now I only have the first layer filled with graphics cards this rig actually supports up to 14 GPUs but I can't get my hands on them in case you don't know it is really difficult to find graphics cards right now so I was very lucky and I got them at retail value and then I ended up getting two used from a buddy of mine Okay, so now let's get into all the equipment that was required to uh, build this rig. And actually I have a little bit extra and I'll explain what I have going on here. So basically, uh, let's first talk about the rig. These are just the dates that I bought it. Um, the rig is that, you know, frame uh, that I got and I actually picked it up. I saw someone on eBay selling it and they were located in Tampa. It was just an hour drive from where I live. So I decided to go over there and buy it because you can't find these online. And that's what I kind of found is through almost everything that I have here, uh, this stuff, you just can't find it. Uh, it is in such high demand. So I ended up buying it for $200 cash and it was great because I wasn't expecting all those fans to be included. So they did come with it, which is excellent. And then I uh, ended up buying Windows 10 Pro for this for $35.99. And the reason I did is because I tried to set this up using the uh, Hive OS operating system and after troubleshooting for about four or five hours, I just was not able to get it working and I'm pretty computer savvy, but unfortunately I'm not that familiar with Linux and it is a Linux based system. So um, I just kind of gave up. I wanted to get it running. So I bought Windows and um, now I'm running a nice hash through everything. And then uh, let's talk about this motherboard. So uh, this motherboard, okay, so this motherboard actually is a backup motherboard. I didn't, I am not using it. I don't even have it yet. I ended up buying it because I had an issue with this motherboard, which did end up coming in. But basically I was told that uh, my regular motherboard purchase was uh, damaged by FedEx and they didn't have it, which is not the case. Um, kind of sketchy actually, I placed an order for it. Then as soon as I got that email, I checked and it, the website was showing that they have it in stock. I called the reseller. Um, they had it in stock, but they had raised the price to $499. Um, but the truth of the matter is after many phone calls, what I found out is that they actually ran out of it because there were so many orders and my order was coming in in a few days. But I actually placed this order and it was already shipped out for this motherboard. So anyway, that's kind of what happened. I have a backup motherboard just in case. Then there was a few cables, some eight pin to double eight pin splitters and uh, some six pin to eight pin splitters. You know, I, I bought a few things. So here's some of the costs on that. Uh, so of course, here's the motherboard. Now, let me show you this motherboard. Uh, this is the, a, a Bitcoin mining specific motherboard. It was actually, uh, what's, what's really nice about this one is that you can have 
13 GPUs all hooked up to one motherboard, which is incredible because you can't find these once again. Unfortunately, they are in such high demand, and uh, there's another one out there that has 19 possi uh, possible GPUs, but um, I wasn't going to go that route because that one was a few hundred dollars more, and um, and I ended up getting this uh, 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 AS uh, Rock, uh, what is it, B110, uh, which I love. It's such a cool board. So anyway, that's the motherboard here. Then I got... Uh, in one order, I got the, the power supply, a 1600 watt power supply, my um, SSD, which is a 256 gig, and also RAM. I got uh, 16 gigs of RAM. That's what the cost was on that. Now, I got the risers. Unfortunately, I didn't get them from uh, GPU mining risers. Dot com, I believe it is that Red Panda Mining recommends uh, because they were out of stock. So I ended up getting some some Chinese knockoffs or something, you know, from uh, Newegg, and those came in. They're all working good, but I do have this little weirdness on them. This pin kind of sticks out, and I'm afraid that if I put them back to back, I'm going to have metal touching metal and might short circuit something. So I'm probably going to go buy those risers uh, that Red Panda Mining uses and just wait for them because sooner or later I. I'm going to get more processors. Uh, I'm sorry, more GPUs for this uh, rig. And then I got a processor and uh, some fans because so, I did not know that I was going to be getting the fans with the rig. So I actually bought some or some fans that I just have laying around right now, six of them. And the processor, of course, uh, it's an i5 processor. So now let's get into the GPUs. So this rig here has three 3090s, and here they are. Uh, so these are the three that I got. These are the dates that I got. And as you can see, I got them actually before I got all my stuff. And that's because I had a good day where I got two of them in one day. So, and then I already had one sitting around waiting for me to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with everything else. So I got, uh, that was the Zotac gaming one. So three of these, and look at the prices here. I mean, these things are not cheap, but that's okay. This is an investment and it's a little fun project as well. Um, now, one day after I got these, I was able to get a GeForce 3070 from Best Buy, which was awesome. Um, and I, by the way, if you're looking at getting some, uh, some of this stuff, I recommend uh, using Discord and sign up for a channel called Stock Drops. And uh, you can get alerted whenever a new piece of stock comes in stock, you know, like whenever one of these graphics cards comes in stock, it's just that you have to check out within five seconds. And that's kind of what I did. That's how I got all of these. I literally just clicked immediately, placed the order. I was already logged into Newegg. I was already logged into Best Buy. Uh, I had my credit card set up in there. Everything was ready to go. I just click, 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 and I got that. So here we are. And now here, let me explain this thing right here. This GeForce 3090, um, Actually, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I got this from not Bank of America, but Best Buy. Um, so this one here, actually, I have in my work computer. Um, I have it at work. I don't have it in this rig, but I'm including it in the costs because it's uh, contributing to the to the payout that is happening, right? So that was uh, purchased just in the beginning of January, and I've been using it uh, to mine ever since. It's been going great. And also, this one right here is actually the old card that came with my GPU. I'm sorry, my uh, my my computer, my desktop computer that I have at work. And I'm just allocating a $500 value to it. Um, I actually bought it with the whole computer setup. I don't really know the exact value, but that's okay. I bought that back in um, August. And uh, this is a great card as well, uh, by the way. And I do use this computer for uh, processing my videos for uh, YouTube. But um, when it's not doing that, which is most of the time, uh, I, it is mining. And then also off of a buddy of mine just the other day, I picked up two 1050i's and I only have one hooked up right now because I'm out of risers. So I need to go get some, um, some, of those, some more of those risers. Now, uh, one other thing I will add that I didn't add here is that uh, we purchased a laptop and um, that this laptop has a, a 2060 in there and it is mining you know, about 50% of the time, literally bringing in a dollar and a half to $2 a day. So I'm not, including it in here because it's it's actually uh you know a computer that's not meant for mining uh and but but it is a, a little bit of a cost that i'm going to offset but it's just such a nominal thing i'm not including it 
so I've added everything up and here is the grand total yeah that is uh, that's a little rough but um, I'm going to be putting in all of my earnings in here uh, actually in January I, I don't know exactly I'll look that up but every month on the first I'm going to be updating all of this to see how long it actually takes to break even and one thing to keep in mind about breaking even is that it's very dependent on the price of Bitcoin so as Bitcoin goes up and Bitcoin goes down so does the rewards that miners get on top of that there is the difficulty that uh, changes also but that changes um, rarely so that's that's the good news but also how many people are mining at any given time there's so many factors in there I don't even know them all all I know is that I got it set up and it's running so then I did a little makeshift calculation here of uh, what if scenarios and this is like what if per day this is what I get 40 45 50 55 60 65 and this is how many days it would take to break even, which then I, sub, you know, turn it out to per uh, per month. How many months will it actually take to break even? And it's between 5.38 and 8.74. Um, most of my days have been somewhere in here. Although I did do a 20 hour long screen capture and I noticed that it kind of fluctuated between $46 and $75. That 75 was really short lived. So I'm not expecting that to be the the norm. So this is basically the setup, the cost, everything that I got, and I'll be updating once per month. Uh, this is my first update, and I know it's um, the end of the month of February right now, so I won't be making one on uh, March 1st, but this is it. So if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. And I highly recommend you check out Red Panda Mining's uh, channel because he has been very, very helpful and informative. And in fact, that's where I got a lot of ideas on how to build this out. I've been watching how he builds things. And um, and it's, you know, like I said, the whole Hive OS and Windows 10 was probably the biggest problem that I encountered. But overall, uh, the whole uh, the whole build of the computer was pretty easy. Now I do have some experience in building computers when I was uh, just a teenager, but uh, you know it's pretty much the same stuff. It's it's pretty simple. So anyway, uh, if you have questions, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll be glad to answer you. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you liked it, please click the like button and also watch this video, not related to any cryptocurrency mining, but it is all about making money in real estate. So it shows you how to get started with very little money.